Shocking allegations against a teenage boy. Police say he sexually assaulted two girls within 10 days. And police say in one of those cases, he's accused in the gang rape of a mentally disabled woman. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Sine Simpson. Thanks for so much for joining us on this Friday. Chris Carter is an 18-year-old Duluth High School student, but tonight he's in the Gwinnett County Jail. Fox 5's Denise Dillon is live in Gwinnett County with the story. And Denise, Carter was scheduled to go before a judge this afternoon. Yeah, that was supposed to be just a few hours ago, but at the very last minute, he waived that court hearing. And I can tell you that this shocking case has really taken so many people in Duluth by surprise. Today, Chris Carter spent his day right here in the Gwinnett County Jail. We connected uh, Chris Carter to both of the, the, the crimes. Chris Carter just 18 years old and facing serious sex crimes against two teens. Assaults that police say occurred just 10 days apart. The first was during a birthday party at this apartment complex on March 3rd. A 19 year old mentally challenged girl was at the party. Such a happy occasion for a friend. But police say when the adults left the apartment, the 19 year old was gang raped by Carter and two juveniles, a 14 and 15 year old. They force the female uh, victim into a bedroom, closing the door and uh, forcing her to um, do sexual acts. It was a gang rape, basically. Basically, yes. Ten days later, a 15-year-old student here at Duluth High School told a school counselor she and Carter walked to the town green after school one day. They knew each other just based on attending the same school, which was Duluth High School. The girl told police she went into the bathroom. Carter followed her. They started kissing, but when Carter got aggressive, she wanted to leave. Police say Carter held her there against her will and sexually assaulted her. Carter was booked into the jail. Charges against him include sexual battery against a child, child molestation, and false imprisonment. Carter bonded out a week later, but was booked back into the jail last week when he was arrested on the rape charges involving the girl with special needs. Police now wonder if Carter had other victims. So we urge any victims to come forward. The 14 and 15 year olds who police say were with Carter at that birthday party now face some serious charges as well, including rape, aggravated sodomy and false imprisonment. They're being held in the juvenile detention center, but they are being charged as adults. Reporting live in Gwinnett County, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News. All right. Thanks so much, Denise.